underscoring the importance of direction, speed, and especially in the understanding of the trajectory of life. Swalan hili unayasabadilisha mkondo na mwelekeo wa maisha yako, jamii yako, inji yako, watu wako kiasi kwamba safari mpya inaanzishwa unaweza kuwa mwanzo wa kitu kipya unaweza kuwa mwanzo wa kisasi kipya unaweza kuwa baba the word baba means source ama chanzo ama beginning you can be a beginner of a new generation na tumeona kwa bible watu ambao walibadilisha visasi fungua hizo madirisha wale mnaweza fungua dirisha Uh, kuna watu ambao walibadilisha mkondo wa jamii yao. Biblia inasema ka, kama kidogo umeangalia hiyo scripture inasema mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Hiyo kiumbe kipya it means new species. Kwamba chembe chembe ya kwako sio tena ya kwenu. Kwa hivyo kile unatakikana kusalisha ni kitu kipya kwa sababu na chembe chembe mpya. Uko na usao mpya, uko na mbegu mpya. Sema amen kwa hilo. Kwa hivyo wokofu ni zaidi ya kwenda mbinguni ni kuanzisha kisasi kipya. Amen. amen. Na tumeangalia kwa Bible vile watu ambao uh, walitoka jamii mbofu, walitoka jamii zilizokuwa na laana, jamii ambazo hasikuwa na uongozi, lakini waliamua kwamba watabadilisha mwelekeo wa hiyo jamii, wataanza kisasi kipya. And I want you to know you can. Amen. Look at this scripture in the book of Genesis so that we get the picture of that. I know kuna mtu anauliza swali how do I do it before we we explain how do we do it I, I will show you probably along the way how do you begin how do you do it how do you change the trajectory of your family how do you change the direction how do you change direction how do you begin a new generation before I show you how to do it or before I will take you through how you be, you, you would do it look at Genesis on the possibilities of changing and beginning a new generation remember direction determines speed Genesis chapter 30 verses 34 look at that look at Genesis chapter 30 verses 34 and I say maje and Laban said good Let it be done as you say. But that, that same day Laban removed No 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 there's, there's a scripture there's a scripture I'm looking for. I say 30 what? 34. Um come on come on come on. Um uh -huh. There's something I'm looking for. There's something I'm looking for. It is not Okay, first says 27. Verses 27, if you don't mind. Let's read together. What does it say? And Laban said to Jacob. That is him. Him, he's who? Come on. Him, Ninani? Jacob. If I have found favor in your sight. Read with me. Do not go. Why? For I have learned by experience from the omens in definition that the Lord has favored me with blessings on your account. Very interesting. Jacob ako na story mbili hapa. Ya kwanza ameandikwa kasi na Laban. Mchungaji mtenda kasi kwa nyumba ya Laban. Lakini Laban anamwambia, "Nime realize tangu ni kuandike kasi. Mungu amenibariki kwa sababu ya uwepo wako." That should be the understanding of a man. And I will show you how to begin that. It should be that whenever you are engaged either in a family in an institution in a church you change the trajectory uh -huh. you should never leave things the way you found yes, yes. say amen. amen number two, Jacob alikuwa meoa kutoka hiyo jamii kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa son in law ama daughter in law ambaye anakuja kubadilisha mkondo wa hiyo jamii na kama jirani yako asemi amen tafadhali sema amen double amen <laughs> sikia Jacob anapewa muke. He paid for one he got one free. Yes, yes. moja, moja bure. So lakini anaambiwa nimetambua imagine father in law. Boss. 
anamwambia mtendakazi wake saninlo wake tangu uoe msichana wangu Nime realize Mungu amenibariki. May God bless you in a way that you being a son in law brings change. That the only benefit your father in law or your mother in law will benefit from is not only dowry. May you be a blessing in that home. Yes. I'm so excited that when I go to my mother in law she calls me the first boy. Yes. I was the least nilienda kutafuta huyu mara saba nilia ushaona mwanaume anaenda engage with man mara saba mnaongea kuhusu Jacobo kuna Jacobo hapa <laughs> Si watu wako walinitesa my friend But I understand it was just during 1997 nyumba yao ilikuwa imechomwa na watu wenye walichoma wanafanana mimi So mama akasema mlishindwa kuua mnataka kupeleka kwa nyumba ndio ikuwe rahisi. But guess what? Today my mother in law considers me the voice of their family. They never do it without consulting. Pastor anasema nini? Why? I did not just pick a daughter. Angalia kama kuna mpapa karibu na wewe. Mulise you are in laws wanasema nini? Let me tell you something. You should understand your redemptive purpose and, and, and I'm very serious about this. You should it should be that if you enter into somebody's life, they will thank God they met you. Yes. you. You ought to be the carrier of blessings. Every girl, every boy, every employer, every pastor, every person should be glad that you came to their lives because you are a carrier of good tidings. Say amen. amen. Everybody should celebrate to have met you. Amen. If there is anybody regretting meeting you, then you need to work on your species. Unapeba chembe chembe mbaya. I'm talking to you. You cannot be a father of orphans. Hey. And there was silence. Wesi kukua baba ya watoto chokora wesi kuwa baba ya mayatima wesi kuwa ndiyo mume waku, wakulea wajane na single mothers you can't be the source of single motherhood you, you can't be the source of orphans you can't breed a generation of richards Listen boys, every girl you've met should thank God that they met you. Listen girls, every boy you met should thank God they met you. Why? Because you carry new species. Kenya unasaa sio mahali nilitoka. Siwezi toka kwa single motherhood. Mama yangu aliteswa, alafu unakuwa maendeleo ya mavituko vyangu. Siwezi kuwa mchinga shule alafu niolewe na mchinga tena. Kwa fadhali kidogo bwana. Yes, yes, yes. Unaona hiyo story? Na ukiona jirani yako aongei? You should be a source of help. Say amen. Amen. Check up. Usiende. Father in law anamwambia baba naomba, usiende. Usiende tafadhali. Unataka nini? Ni kuongezea mshahara. Usiende. Kwa nini nimetambua tangu kuja hapa? Mungu amenibariki. Kwa sababu yako, sio kwa sababu ya Laban, kwa sababu ya Yakubu. May you be designed in a manner that you find your redemptive package. Change the trajectory of your life. Understand your direction that when you enter any new territory, you bring a new change. And even if you have a past, I am now telling you you can begin a new dimension. So I am condemning your past so that I can redeem your future. Say amen. You can change the trajectory of life. You can be a source of blessing. Amen. Remember Jacob was a trickster. But he ended up being a blessing. You can change your tra- trajectory. Hallelujah. The house of Potiphar prospered because of Joseph. Come on. 
You are a carrier of hope. Ukisema amen inakuwa wewe. The prison prospered because of Jacob. I'm a spiritual father and I can tell you something. Hakuna kitu inabariki moyo wa mchungaji kuliko Mkristo ambaye anachangia wema, ufanisi, wauduma na furaha ya mchungaji. Wakati tunaomba tuko na maombi karibu sita lakini tutawaambia mbili. Ya kwanza ni Mungu ubariki huyu msichana, ubariki huyu mbaba for my sake. Kuna tusikia tunawaombea wote Mungu awabariki awape maisha mrefu, mkuu warefu, Mungu awapanue mipaka yenu, lakini kuna wale watu Mungu naambia unichungie hii. Unibarikie hii. Uniingie uniongezee hii. Lakini pia kuna wale tunaambia Mungu hii uliniletea ya nini? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Your spiritual authority should never regret meeting you. Yes. Uchungu yetu sio poa. You, you know why it's very painful? Because we leave everything for you. Najua nikafanya biashara ningekuwa by the way I had dreams, I had hope. I had a future. I wanted to be something. I had a dream. No, I am not a product of a mis- misfortune. No, I had a dream. I wanted to be like any other man. Yes. I was doing business the other day. I stopped it. I realized pesa ya biashara is very sweet in as kutoa kwa huduma. Nimepungusa biashara, nimeachana naye. I realized pesa ni roho. I've discovered that money can make you rest. It can reduce your prayer life. So we sacrifice that for you. Please make us happy. Amen. Amen. Your spiritual father should wake up at night and say, Lord, mm-ah. sikia arufu ya mwanangu. Akia Mungu kuna watu, kuna watu tunawaombeanga tu. Naombeanga tu. Hata wakati sina nguvu ya kuomba, kuna watu nguvu yao waishi. Kumbuka huyo Mungu. Ana huyo. Babaangu akiroa aliniambia, ujichunge sana. Baba wako akiroa asi, asikuwa na mawaso, akikuasa anashangaa. Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Kwa nini unanifanyia hivi? Hata kuambia lakini kwa moyo wake anasema kwa nini? Na suspect ni gari yangu njenga. Na suspect ni gari yangu. Hmm. Yatafanya kitu. Listen. You should be a source. Help me turn to your neighbor. Tell neighbor. Yes, By faith. By faith. I'm glad to have met you. I'm glad to have met you. Akia Mungu kuna watu kitu. Sosalamia mtu wese asaambia mtu kwa hewa. Msalamia mtu mwambie my friend. My neighbor. By faith. Hata kama sikujui sana. Nashukuru Mungu nimekujua. Eh, kwamba hata nikikaa na wewe kanisani naelewa. Unajua kuna watu ukikaa na wao kanisani haushiki kitu. Network yao ni mbaya. Vitu vya Mungu inapita tu pap pap pap. Unashangaa pastor aku anointed leo kumbe network ilikuwa na virus. I've, I've tested that. I've tested that. I've been in a conference and I sat beside somebody and I understood absolutely nothing. And in my own wisdom, I took my books as if I'm going to the washroom and I changed direction and I discovered hewa huko ni safi. Especially wale watu wana target muhubiri moja. So mwingine akihubiri ame shot so ana kumulika. Abraham changed the lineage of his family. Look, look at Genesis chapter 15. Chapter 15 of Genesis. Very interesting. You can change the trajectory of your family. Can I tell you something? You can be the first of the generation of a new species. Unaweza sema kwetu mpaka mahali limefika. Vituko ilikuwa huko haipiti hapa. Mwanzo mpya unaanza na mimi. Wangapi wanakubaliana na mimi wewe ni mwanzo mpya? That's right. You can be a, good, a new beginning. Look at verses 1 of that Genesis chapter 15. The Bible says after these things the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Saying, fear not. Abraham, I am your shield, your abundant compensation and your reward shall be exceedingly great. Verses 2 to so me pamoja. And Abraham say, Lord God, what can you give me? Since I'm going on from this world, childless. Wow. 
and he who shall be the owner and heir of my house is a steward Eliasa at Damascus uh -huh. and Abraham continued look you have given me no child and a servant born in my house is my heir and behold the word of the Lord came to him saying come on to read everybody this man shall not be your heir but he who shall come from your own body shall be your heir I decree in Jesus name you will not reflect the past which were ugly something new will come out of you uko na dampia ya Yesu uko na jina mpya uko na chembe chembe mpya utasalisha kisasi kipya amen look at chapter 17 of the same chapter 17 of genesis chapter 17 look at verse 4 and as for me behold my covenant which is a solemn pledge is with you and you shall be the father of many nations. Now, kuna kitu inaitua Baba ya Mataifa. A very interesting. Baba ya Mataifa. But, but let's not dwell on that. Go to the next verse. Nor shall your name any longer be Habram. High, exalted father. But your name shall be Habraham. The father of multitude. For I have made you the father of many nations. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what? One of the principles that enhances trajectory is change of identity. Mungu akitaka kukupea mwanzo mpya anakupea identity mpya. Identity mpya inataka na wapi watu wa Mungu? Mtu akipokea habari mpya inampea mwelekeo mpya. You know what I'm doing right now? I'm changing your identity. Yes. By the prophetic word, I'm changing your identity. Yes. By the word of God, I'm changing your identity. Yes. By the word of wisdom, I'm changing your identity. Yes. By the scriptures, I'm changing your identity. Yes. Therefore, you will bring forth, yes. not as Abraham, yes. but as Abraham. Yes. Now listen, what Abraham means, Ham, Ham derives from Jehovah. So Abraham and Ham are two species. Abraham is the man. Ham is the breath of God. Amen. So it is God, man. So in other words, Abraham and Ambiwa, how utakuwa tena kiwiliwili cha mtu? Utakuwa kiwiliwili cha mtu hapa, ilio na uungu hapa. Kwa hivyo vitu utasa duniani, inatoka na mbinguni. Listen, this is interesting to me. That's why Isaac akusaliwa kama matokeo ya bidi Abraham. Alisaliwa kama matokeo ya neno la mungu. Wow. Kwa Isaac, sio matokeo ya binu, bidi ya Abraham, lakini ni neno la mungu ilichochea Abraham kusa Isaac. That's why Isaac ni, ni kisasi mpya tofauti. Look at this. Look at the same scripture. Look at um, Genesis. Look at Genesis chapter 17. Look at verses 1. Look at verses 1. We were there, but go back to verses 1. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the Almighty. In other words, I am the Almighty God. Walk and live habitually before me. And be perfect. Walk and live habitually before me. And be perfect. Blameless, wholehearted, complete. Now, now listen. Mungu na mambi Abraham, watoto wako, hawata esabiwa kutoka na na bidi yako. Watoto wako, wata esabiwa kutoka nyota na mchanga. Let me show you what that means. God is telling Abraham, I'm giving you a new breed of people that when you give birth, your children will be like the stars of heaven. You know what stars represents? Influence. They illuminate. So anambiwa, watoto wako ni kama nyota. In other words, utaansa kusa species. Ambayo wako na 
influence. Wherever they go, they prosper. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why wakati Isaac, wakati Isaac, wakati Isaac, watu walikuwa na kimbia misri, kutafuta chakula. Mungu kamambi Isaac, for you, you will not need to go there. You are a star. Do you realize Isaac became most prosperous than Abraham? Because he's a star. A new generation watoto ambao wanasaliwa from a divine influence. So akambiwa, your children will be like the stars of heaven. What does a star represent? Influence. Number two, akambiwa, they will be like the sand of the seashore. What do sand represent? Dominion. So the sand, begu yako, ni yaku influence. That means they have leadership, but they also have dominion. That means they'll become prosperous. May that be your portion in Jesus name. Amen. Na kwa sababu wewe ni chembe chembe ya Abraham, may this be you. Amen. May you fit the category of Abraham's Amen. lineage. Abraham anaambiwa kuanzia leo watoto utasaa wako na influence. In other words wako na leadership. Wakienda mahala popote wanang'aa. Wanatambuliwa. Hawahitaji kujiintroduce kwa nini ni nyota. Number two, watakuwa kama mchanga wa barini. In other words, they will dominate. That's why unakuta wa Yahudi mpaka saa hii. Chochote anafanya. Muyahudi hata akiwa mlefi, akianza biashara itafaulu. Actually they say Muyahudi aki, akianza kitu kenye kimekufa itafaulu. That is why it's one of the superpowers in the world today, but they are in the wilderness. Wanatupea msaada kutoka changwani. Nilisoma history wakati wa Yahudi walikuwa natafutiwa mahali pa kukaa. One of the proposed positions was Rift Valley. Wa Yahudi walikuwa wakuwa settle Rift Valley, semu ya uh, na, nisio Naivasha, Nyaururu, huku kwa watu wanaitwa nani hao? Uh, Nyaururu, um, Laikipia, hiyo area yote kwenda huko mpaka Ethiopia. That's where they were settled and I was like, si wanga settle up. I don't mind walking in their farms. Lakini niambia jirani yako jirani. jirani kwa Kristo wewe ni Muyahudi kiroho mwambie wewe ni mwana wa Ibrahimu kwa hivyo mwambie wacha hii aibu unatuonyesha hii you are a star and you are a dominator that's why he said i will bless the work of your hands and i want you to reckon today that you are not just another luja you are not just another kikuyu you are not another masai you are not another kalenjin you are a star and you represent dominion. I decree in Jesus name. By virtue of that recognition. Whatever you touch shall prosper. You carry the species of God. Mikono yako siu vidole tano. Nineema tano. Na wala musia miyameni munataka nini? Munataka ni watusi. Na sema hivi. Vidole vyako vio vidole tano. Nineema ngapi? Eh hey, wakati watu wengine wanakulia ugali unajua wewe ni mtu wa unabii uko na utume uko na unabii uko na unjilisti uko na uchungaji na uko na walimu sio vidole ni neema ni neema bwana hii mikono tunakuwekelea sio mikono ni neema sema amina so stars represents what influence which is leadership Sand represents dominion. dominion. So that means you should prosper anywhere. Amen. I say you should prosper anywhere. Amen. I say you should prosper anywhere. Amen. I say you should prosper anywhere. Amen. You should. Amen. You de- belong to the sand. Yes. Where you step, you possess. Wamebarikiwa wasasi wako. Kwamba kati ya watoto walisaa wewe ni mmoja wao. Amen. Kwa sababu wewe ni Yusufu kwa hiyo nyumba. Amen. Wewe ni chembe chembe mpya kwa hiyo nyumba. Amen. Na usiposema eneni kitu itafika hapo. Sio maji natafuta natafuta makosa. Wamebarikiwa. Amen. Wamebarikiwa watu wamekuandika kasi. Kwamba Yakupu wako kwa nyumba. Amen. Wakikusa kitu inafaulu. Na utasikia Jacob is a mystery. Joseph, Joseph, uh, if I was talking to you about 
about economics. I will talk to you, uh, as, uh, I mean, about Joseph, I mean, Joseph, Joseph, Jacob, Isaac, all those guys. But I will talk to you about Jacob as a technology. Amen. There is a technology called Jacob. Penye ngombe na mbusi na ngamia wako, wanayasasa, aina ya ngombe na mbusi, ambaso asiko kwa line chienu. Kwa mba mtu anajukua kichiti na, 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 ku, na kutoa makanda one side anawacha, anawacha, anatoa ingine. Anaweka ndani ya maji. Maji watu wa mungu, ndani ya maji. Wakati wanyama wanakuja kunywa maji, wanangalia kile kichiti, wanapata mimba ya madoa doa. It's called an economic technology. Maybe I will need to teach you how to make money. It is possible to make money. Wacha na hii luga yako hii ya, ya watumu wa hii ya te. Hey, hii Kenya ni ngumu. Kenya gani? You have a technology. You are a new species. Yes. When you cut your wall to Kina Isaac, when you want a panda wakati kumekauka, and they harvest hundredfold. Say amen. amen. You are a technology. Amen. You are both should suck 20 people to retain you. Amen. You are both should beg you. Please. Usiende. Unapewa off your bure bure. Shetani ya shindwa fululiso. Ambayi nasema weni mwanamuke. Tuwe si mwanamuke. Weni chembe chembe ya Ibrahimu. Weni mwana wa Asera. Unasawa toto wakati wakati umepita. Na watoto ukisawa moja. Ina overshadow wengine wote. Huko na ekima. You are an Esther by virtue. You are a Deborah. You are womb. It's the storehouse of God. We upebi tu chembe chembe unapeba ungu. You should be proud Amen. that you know what you know. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. Look at, uh, look at uh, Joshua 24. Joshua 24. A very interesting scripture. Ah, 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 ah. Shetani ya shindo fululiso. Tuluko wapi? Joshua, yes. Chapter 24. <laughs> verses, uh, verses, verses what? Verses 15. 20 and 15, I love 20, 20 yoyako. Inasema nini? And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your forefathers served on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my species and my house, and my lineage are making a resolution. We will serve the Lord. Now, ukisoma historia ya Joshua, Joshua alikuwa meitua na baba yake, Hosea. Joshua alikuwa naitua Hosea. Jina la baba ya Joshua alipewa jina Hosea. Lakini wakati alikuja kutumikia Musa, Musa akabadisha jina yake. Akambia jina ya baba yako, hayambatani na muanzombia. Akabadilishua jina from Hosea to Joshua. I will show you that when you, when you understand the value of a prophetic assignment. When your spiritual father gives you a title, it is not a name to add to your names. It's a direction, it's a redemptive package. So his name changed from Hosea to Joshua. A new species. Why? Moses was looking for continuity. So Hosea would not be. A Joshua would be. Because you are only a father to what you name. Amen. Did you know father's name? Munajua hivyo kwa Bible? Kulikana na Biblia, baba ndi upea na jina. Iyo ni culture ya Bible. Ni ulisia jirani ya nani ya lukupea jina? Wale munajua majina yenye inapitishwa from generation to generation. Usha tambua mwenye anakupea jina, unapepa mbaka tabia yake. <laughs> Sushemi kitu, ni matulia tu. Wakati nilukuta uyu, jina yake ilikuwa tofauti. Na jina ambalo alitanishwa. Hakuna moja kwa hiyo generation. Miaka mia moja iliopita Ambali kaa kwa ndoa saidi ya miaka tano Yaka oleo na nabi Nikapea line chumpia 
ni lini tutasherekea anniversary mande hii yenye inakuja tunasherekea miaka 25 kwa ndoa tunaongeza 20 na ukiona jirani apigi makofi ni jina ni jina ni wifu rishwa wata <laughs> nasema ati mama ongeange ulisa mama yake ati huyu bwana swear ati huyu <laughs> huyu wakati alikuwa mdogo alikuwa na chapwa ndio nyamasa <laughs> yes vita yote mama alichapwa na mama yake na dada zake na ndugu zake funga mdomo Mama alikuwa kati ya wale wageni wakikuja mkipiga story amechomoka. Na 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 na. na. Story haingeisha kabla hajachangia. So alikuwa na chapu afanya nini? Anyamaza. Wakati aliokoka siku ile alipatiswa, alitoka kwa maji akiwa bubu hivi. Things change. People can change. Mama yake anashangaa mpaka sasa hivi. Ati anasanyamaza ina whole conversation. Huyu alikuwa na chapu anyamaza. Funga mdomo. Wengine wao nataka na mpatiso afresh. <laughs> Juice to kipatiso some of the people. So somebody said, my husband vitu amefanya na pesa. Mungu peke yake anajua. Akaweka pesa kwa wallet na kaambia mzee, weka kwa mfuko. Vinyo umefanyia pesa yetu. Lazima tupatise mpaka pesa yetu. So akaambia mzee, weka pesa kwa wallet, ingia kwa machi nayo. <laughs> so tulipatisa huyo baba na pesa. Kwa sababu mama anasema vitu pesa imetufanyia. Some of you need to be baptized. So listen. <laughs> Joshua chose a lineage and he said, choose for yourself. Kama mnatumikia miungu ya kwenu. Now let me tell you a story that I think will help you. Miungu ya kwetu, penye mimi nilizaliwa. Miungu ya kwetu ni ya witchcraft. Na unajua witchcraft na umasikini ni kambuni moja. Wewe sipata penye kuna umaskini na ukose witchcraft. Awesi witchcraft tafuta umaskini tafuta witchcraft. That's why wachawi wote wanakaa penye kuna umaskini. Ushaona mchawi tajiri? Na anajaribu kufanya ukwe tajiri. Uchinga nayo. Joshua came from a lineage where Canaanites had begun to worship idols. But Joshua said, because I am no longer a seer of my lineage, by my biological father, I'm no longer a seer. I am now a Joshua under the fatherhood of Moses. Moses is a deliverer by virtue of his redemptive package. So Moses says, I want somebody who can carry my legacy. Akasema I would like a Joshua, not an Osea. <laughs> so Joshua said by virtue of my new identity, I am no longer subscribed to the God of our fathers, the gods whom our fathers served on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me, and my lineage and my house we will serve the lord may god give you an opportunity to raise a generation that serve god if i was to take you through something in your own time i want you to google in your bible if you have your phone or you can read or your bible as concordance look for the word generation generation God defines people according to generations. There are those whom the Bible says, a generation of those who fear God. A generation of those who love God. And then there is what the Bible calls a generation of the wicked. A wicked generation. A generation of viper or snakes. Those who, who, who want to kill anything good. Poisonous generation. You can sign up to one. Moses changed his name. From Mosea to... Let me give you a last example of what I said yesterday. Rahab the Harlot. Say that with me. When we read yesterday, who was she? She was the great-grandmother of Jesus. 
Wow. That's interesting. Rahab the halot. Rahab kahaba. Kwa sababu wakati Joshua alituma watu wawili waende waangalie inji ya Kanan. Walipofika malangoni wakaputa, wakakuta Rahab ambaye alikuwa kahapa. Alikuwa nakaa kwa gate ya muji ili wanaume wote wanaingia. Alikuwa na lodging in other words. So any man who was a stranger alikuwa client. So wakati aliingia akaona wa 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 kuna wanaume wawili sio hiyo wakipita hapa. Na wako sawa na ni wa Israeli. Wanakaa wana jeshi. Nasikia wakati ilichulikana kuna wageni na kwa sababu walikuwa nachenga michi kama stadium. So watu wali notice na ulikuwa unajiandikisha kuingia ndani. Waka notice kuna strangers wawili wameingia. Na wale watu wa ile nji walikuwa wamejua kuna watu wanaitwa wa Israeli wanakuja kunyakua nji yetu. So they were watchful. So wakati ilichulikana kuna strangers wakakimbia kwa nyumba ya Rahab. Kwa sababu ilikuwa rahisi kujificha kwa nyumba ya Kahaba. Can you imagine? Ilikuwa rahisi kujificha kwa nyumba ya Kahaba. Rahab wakati wale watu wakafika akamwambia mama hii utufiche. Akawaambia nitawaficha. Lakini najua Mungu sikia mwanamke Kahaba kwa kupokea wacha susi wawili waliotumwa na Joshua akaingia kwa Wi-Fi aka connect kwa bluetooth akapata network akaanza kusema but the woman had taken the two men and hid them hidden them so she said yes two men came to me but i did not know from where they they had come and at the gate closing time after dark the men went out where they went to when i do not know Pursue them quickly for you will overtake them. Na wako kwa nyumba. She had nothing to lose. She had no image to protect. She had no family to protect. She didn't care what would people think. After all she was a prostitute. That's why you realize serious people who serve God are tainted people. Some of these holy for nothing characters. I want to protect my image. I want to protect my name for nothing. If it doesn't pay rent, it's useless. A prostitute walked with God. Where were holy girls when the holy men of God came to the city? They were busy cooking for their... But she had brought them up to the roof and hidden them under the stock of the flax which she had laid in order for them. Your flax, your mattress, it was a biashara. Hey, you must be so objective that you overlook obstacles. So she had back up. Listen. So the man pursued them to the Jordan as far as the falls. As soon as the pursuer had gone, the city gates were shut. So before the two men had laid down, Rahab came up to them on the roof, and she said to the man, "I know that the Lord has given you the land." and that your terror is fallen upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of Rahab immediately picks the frequency in the spirit. But I don't get the Lord has given you the land. Which Lord? She is Rahab for heaven's sake. She is a foreigner. She does not belong to the lineage of the Hebrews. But listen, when you connect with grace, you protect the lineage of grace. I'm serious. That's why, listen, there are people today who had no future, they had no name, they had no identity. They were tainted until they met grace. All of a sudden, Rahab is talking like a sister in the Lord. In fact, in fact, we will confirm the spies. Kwamba, hapa kwetu, tumestuka, tunajua mungu amewapea inji yetu. Tumestuka, tunajua mungu ametuwesa. So, for we have heard how the Lord Right up. I mean, you are back at the Lord. She is now subscribing to the Lord of the Hebrews. Yeah. May God give you revelation. Yeah. Right up the water of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt. And what you did to the two kings, the Amorites who were on the east side of the Jordan, Sihon and Ok, whom you utterly destroyed. Walk on a story. News. When we had it, our hearts melted. Now listen. Listen to the prophecy. God uses this halot 
to speak on behalf of the nation, on behalf of the city, and say, we have heard about you, our hearts have melted, and we have given him to you. Amuku shika kenya ni mesema, mungu alikuwa nataka mtu kwa hiyo inji, mwenye ataongea kwa ni hapa ya hiyo inji, kusarenda kwa wa Israeli. Mungu akafanya rahab, awe ndio malango, ingawa alikuwa kahapa, lakini mungu akatumia, aonge kwa ni hapa ya wenye inji, kwamba tumejua, tumesikia, mioyo yetu imemelt, may that it our spirit, sikia, she is not saying my spirit, saying our spirit. So rahab handed over the city, Amen. Wow! May the Lord use you Amen. to bring a new change. May the Lord use you to change the trajectory of your lineage. Amen. Say amen. amen. And listen, our spirits, listen, neither did spirits or courage remain anymore in any man because of you. So a woman is talking, saying, eh, ata wanaume hapa kwisha, miyoyo yetu imenyauka. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on earth beneath. Muschana wa wenyewe hako amenda Sunday school, hako lunch hour. Lakini netwa kililetwa. May grace fill you. By virtue of this lunch hour. By virtue of this altar. May you be connected to the antenna of heaven. That you realize God has given you this city. God has given you business. God has given you leadership. That your generation represents stars. And you are a dominator. May the Lord give you favor. And listen. Uh, go to the next verse. Uh, now, now then, I pray you. Swear to me by the Lord. Since I have shown you kindness. That you will also show kindness to my father's house. Ame change trajectory ya family. Ame wakua family ya yake. Ame wambia sikia. Chami yangu is no longer part of this wicked people. No. Mimi ni masign up kwenu. Mukirudi ni nainua. Iyo, 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 iyo nini nye kundu. Iyo bendera nye kundu. Iyo nguwa nye kundu. Ishara ya damu. Kwamba ni mesamewa. Damu yangu is no longer the lineage of my family. I connect to your lineage. May your parents. May your family. May your marriage. May your in-laws. May your relatives. May your brothers. Find a new lineage. Courtesy of you. Say amen. Now look at God. He uses the lowest. To tell you you cannot go lower than Rahab the Hallow. And so, save a life my father and my mother, my brothers and sisters, and all they have, and deliver us from death, Jesus. And then men say to her, our lives for yours, if you do not tell this business of ours, then when the Lord gives us the land, we will deal kindly and faithfully with you. And then, then she let them down by the rope through the window. I'm sure Ali wa tengenesia chakula kwansa. And then for her house was built into the town wall. So that she dwell somewhere. And she said to them, get to the mountains lest the pursuers meet you. Hide yourself. There are three days until the pursuers have returned. And afterwards, you may go your way. Now, nataka muniambia. Raha palirudi akakua mama ya nani? Raha palikuja akakua mama ya nani? Boss. Boss akasa nani? Talk to me. Boss akasa nani? Obed. Obed akasa nani? Chesa akasa nani? Dawdi. Shetani ya shindo fululisa. You are not finished yet. You are not written off. You are not useless. I don't care where your marriage went to. I don't care what you brought on. Listen. Listen. Single mothers. Kuna mutu anaito kwa Bible Chaffet. Chafta. Alisaliwa nji andoa. By the way, can I shock you? Do you know David was also born outside wedlock? Oh, yes. Maybe I'll show you. Dawdi ni mutoto wakukuja na ayo. Don't kill yourself. You can redeem. Hata kama mwenye alikusalisha alikuwa mchinga. You can redeem. Kwa sababu, of course, ni mchinga tu anasama mutoto na kukata. But you can redeem. Bana sifesana. 
Amani ya Bwana iwe nanyi. Chukua sadaka yako ya baraka. Chukua sadaka kama mbarikiwa. Chukua sadaka kama mbarikiwa. Chukua sadaka kama mbarikiwa. Chukua basha asha give us envelopes. Wanajua chukua basha. You can change the trajectory of your family. Hmm? You can. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mwanamke mmoja kwa Bible alikuwa ameolewa na mwanaume aliitwa Mpumbafu. Wakati Mpumbafu alikufa, hiyo mwanamke akasaa na Daudi watoto wa maana. Akaanza kisasi kipya. Listen, don't give up. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope you can begin a new lineage. Blessed is that family that you are born again. Amen. Hebu msherekea jirani yako nimemwambie nimetambua nimekaa na neema. Yeye mshana akwambia kitu, anasikia wifu na wewe. Jaribu yeye mwenyako nyuma. Wewe ni neema. Kama bitoka na bariki dunia leo, watu ambao wanatufuata online ni wengi kuliko nyoka hapa. Wewe ni neema. Wewe ni neema. Mungu anazatumia hiyo mdomo kubadilisha watu. Mungu anazatumia hiyo mikono kusaa watu wa maana. Sema amen. amen. Na Eldoret kukubali. Amen. Ili waseme chanzo kipya cha Eldoret ni wewe. Na nina watangasia wakati wa kiangasi hiyo mambo ya kiangasi haituhusu. We are in a different level of engagement. Our economy is different. Our climate is different. We carry different species. Sisi ni wale wasee wanapanda wakati wa kiangasi na wanafuna maradufu. Ni sisi. Sisi ni wale watu tunanunua ploti wakati uchumi unaanguka. Sisi ni wale watu tunaongeza biashara wakati watu wanafutwa kazi. Eh, hey, sisi ni wale watu tunanunua ploti wakati wa COVID. Sisi ni wale watu tunachenga manyumba wakati watu wanaenda reserve. Eh, hey, ni sisi. Kama sio wewe ni mimi. You are a new lineage. I have a right here to call you sons. So you belong to the lineage of my spiritual life. You have your good offering. If you are using your phone, a pay bill is projected. Those who are watching live, give your offerings on a pay bill projected on the screen. And I want to encourage you, participate fully here by giving your offerings and your tithe. Make sure you connect through your offerings and your tithe. Lift it up. Ame bariki wa wanamtafuta Lift it up. And Lord, we thank you. We are in your presence. Yes, we are in your presence. Worship makes your presence. Your word makes your presence. The prophetic word makes your presence. An altar makes your presence. And our giving connects us to your presence. Every gift today is connected to a living altar that breeds a new life to our economic life. We are blessed. And our afternoon is secure. And we are a new breed in grace. In Jesus name. Amen. You are blessed, blessed people. Mwende eldoreti kwa kukubali. Muunde pesa nzuri. Na kesho mkuja na ushuda. Kama uko na maombi prayer request, drop it here. We pray for prayer request on Friday. So kesho kuja na prayer